Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Spain. Now, uh, we have a couple of wonders that we're building right now, namely the uh, Bolshoi Theatre and the Hermitage. I would also like to get Broadway and Crystal Red and Tor. I'll probably try to build Crystal Red and Tor in my capital. I'll have to try and find somewhere for Broadway. Now, I believe it takes a flatland adjacent to a theatre square, so I may consider building it right here. Uh, in Cordoba because Cordoba actually has you know a reasonable amount of production not nearly as much as my capital or this city but I may be able to uh, sort of move around some of these tiles here and see if I could squeeze out a little bit more production for example uh, I might be able to swap this hill over here uh, perhaps once something else happens or I could maybe build a mine on this hill or even I could switch this to be a mine although one two three four five so I could safely swip, swap this which I may do, so I will purchase a builder just to get that done, get her done. As they say, I will be building a... Are we working this tile? We're not working this tile, and we will be working it in a turn, so I think I will turn this into a lumber mill. As much as a chop would be nice as well. I shall not do that. So I Corona, I Corumba, more like. Needs a bit of work. I've got three builder charges here. I'm going to send this up to Salamanca. And see if we can't... Uh, I believe I was going to try and make a national park over here. So we may have to try and buy out this jungle tile. And delete it! Unit needs orders? Uh, yes, I think I would also like a lumber mill here. Although you're not going to work it for now. Um, but in the near future you will work that. So lumber mill appeals to me quite a bit. Next turn. Alrighty, choose production. Okay, we got a trader in here. Excellent. And I think I may use this trader to trade with La Palmas here so that I can grab some extra production in Cordoba for when I'm building the Broadway. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to remove that. And let's see, what could I squeeze out in a couple of turns here for Broadway? I could maybe squeeze just something small, like a galley. Would that do anything? It would let me scout the, the, the sea a little bit. Um, I tells you what. Why don't you put three, why don't you grab me a spearman? Put three turns into a spearman, that'll sync up with mass media. Alrighty. Uh, you've got three builder charges, so what are we going to do with you? Mm -hmm -hmm. Not really sure. Also got a rider here that I need to pop off some more great works. Uh, hmm. I'll send you up to Salamanca as well, because that city could even use even more builder charges. Unfortunately, they stole my piggies. I'll have to just live with that. I could get another hill mine, and that I could use that in Madrid. Actually, Madrid could maybe use a couple of builder charges, so I'll send you over there. Because I believe, yeah, we could we could work one of these hill mines, maybe. Would be good. Maybe one of these hill mines, perhaps. Perhaps we shall consider these things as possibilities. You've also got an extra build charge. Uh, you know what? There could be... Are we going to try to build... Seaside resorts here? If we erase these two... We may consider it. So why don't you go get rid of this... Um, why don't you go get rid of that marsh? And you have gained sources, I assume. No, you only just arrived. So go ahead and gain sources and we'll go into our next turn. I'm allied with Jan Curtain. Uh, you would like to trade incense for foxies. And that seems like an okay deal to me. What would you do if I were to give the three gold per turn for two amenities? Sure thing. Sounds great. I have absolutely no problem with this sequence of events, and we just got knowledge of chemistry. I forget. I think it was because we did a spy steal. Yes, that would absolutely make sense. And guess what we're going to do again? That's right. We're going to do another spy steal because we want to uh, to get tech, tech thingies, the thing with technologies. You know the things. Right. So we built a harbor over here. It would absolutely make logical sense to have another builder. Ah. Uh, 
we could also get a trader. I think what I will do is... The city could use some growth, so I may pick up, like, the granary to get it growing. I may purchase this tile over here, although that's quite expensive, and then chop it. And that should bring up the appeal around here a little bit. It's getting closer to something resembling a reasonable uh, amount of appeal. This jungle tile needs to be erased, but I think we can get away with it for now. And that just finished out the commercial hub. I think I'm going to place down the next district, and I think it's probably going to be an entertainment district. I'm considering what my options are. I really would like a theater square. But I may just grab an entertainment district to increase the appeal of this um, national park that I'll be getting here on this these four tiles once I drop a... Um, once I drop a forest on that tile there. So we'll stick down the entertainment complex to lock in its price, and then we'll get the market, because again, we want more of these great merchant points. I think I think this is going to be an important part of me um, winning the game, because there's a few really good guy, uh, things to get here. We have plenty of fate, so we could purchase any of these great people that we really want, which is good, because we want to be able to keep our eye on that, and we'll get another great work. Our tourism per turn is starting to get really, really good. We're up to 70 out of 207 tourists. So let's go ahead and erase that and then put a hill mine there and we'll go into our next turn. That will of course sort of hurt the um, growth of this city, but that's, yeah, that's not a big deal. I really like how you can use the adjacency of um, your neighbors. So here's a great musician. And we almost have the Bolshoi Theatre. So we may as well create another great work of music. Over here we just got ourselves a builder. Excellent. I think I was tempted to put a great thingy. Did I ever purchase the um, naturalist? I don't think I did. Let me purchase a naturalist here. I can kind of have a little bit of a, p a peek and a gander around here. Now this could be a um, a national park. Alternatively, I could move that national park down a little bit to here on these hills. Hmm. If I were to harvest a deer and put a forest on top, I think that would actually be better. And then I would need to purchase these two tiles. Now they'll be a little bit expensive. I'll need about 530 gold to do it. That shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we have a harbor. Let's grab a entertainment district. I'll probably chop here and drop an entertainment district there as well. So let's get a monument. And we got our industrial zone here. So I think it would be good to get another art museum because we're not too far away from an artist. Do I have an art museum, is the question? I do not have an art museum, so... Get that art museum so that we can get the uh, the guy on time. You have two build charges. Uh, let's have a look at the old appeal map mode. That's the settler map mode, appeal. There's definitely some national parks in here. Right here there's a national park. I would need to settle a city. Like right there and then buy all these tiles in order to make this into a national park. So that will be an option potentially down the road. This city could probably just use some production, right? Yeah. Let's go get some production. Yes, please trade with La Pal Bilbao. Seems like a good spot as well. That'll shave a few turns off of Valencia's Hermitage. And we'll stick a mine here. We'll go into Madrid and I'll tap this button and see if they work it. Excellent. So that's uh, four turns until the Bolshoi Theatre is finished. Very excited about that because it'll mean I can st get started on the Crystal Red and Tor. Eight gold per turn. You want to buy my silk? Would you also like to buy my piggies? Give me all of the monies. Yes, 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 yes. This looks like a good deal. You'll also give me open borders. I'll take that. In fact, I'll probably talk to you again. And I'll sell you my open borders for one gold per turn. 
Seems like a reasonable deal to me. Okay, there's mass media. Let's get started on Broadway. Right here. Now. Cultural heritage would be quite useful. If I could get the Sydney Opera House, where would I build that? I would need a city with like decent production. Here would be a... No, it's not enough production in here. I'd need a city with like good production it would maybe be up here in Salamanca if I got these hill mines going I could do it yeah if I got if I get these hills locked in then I could almost certainly put it like right there once I get the um get the Sydney Opera House so I may go for that I'll drop a Sydney Opera House over here Let's fill in a policy slot. I'm not sure what we ran out of. But I think what I'm going to grab here is... 50, I think I'll just take cheaper units. It seems like a reasonable move. Stick a mine there. Okay, you have some built charges. Let's come... So these are all seaside resorts. So there'll be three over here. Then I need to get rid of some of these marshes. That'll force grow the city a little bit. Fortify there. We've got a naturalist. I think we made the decision to make it here. So I'm going to chop this forest first. Then throw down the entertainment complex. And then chop the deer, and then put a forest on the deer. Musician, you're going to have to wait for three turns until we finish that uh, Broadway thingy. You're going to come down here. You're going to you're going to prepare a uh, national park here once we grab these two tiles. I like national parks. They seem I never really put a lot of effort into them, but I can see their value. I can definitely see their value. Let's go ahead and grab the mine. You can go there. Okay, now the city is approaching something uh, reasonable in terms of its production. We'll get that musician to wait again for a turn. Uh, unit needs orders. Go ahead and harvest the deer. Get yourself an arena. Keep those amenities going. So let's have a look at the appeal map mode. That boosted the appeal down here again. So it's four, five, two. So we'd need another forest here to bring this up and maybe another forest here. So we'll kind of have to play it by ear a little bit carefully here. We'll buy those tiles soon though. Let's go ahead and buy these. They got more expensive, sadly. That is just the way the cookie crumbles. So let us get the um, National Park. I think I'll place it right there. Excellent. And this national park now will provide us with 19 tourism. Very good. And if I drop some more forests, I can even get that up to maybe 21 tourism, which is quite good, which will be doubled later on in the game as well. So that's a nice little national park here. Plus it'll provide amenities and stuff like that. Very, very nice. And there we got a market in here. So let us also grab the mine. I want a national park here. I want a national park over here. There's a lot of national parks that I want. And it's just a process of kind of getting through it. So I have nine turns until I want to be building the Sydney Opera House in here. So what could I do for nine turns? I think it would be good to get the harbour finished, maybe. Let's also... Tempted to harvest these rice tiles and turn them into... Forest tiles. We will consider this as a possibility. One more turn until you can create your next great work. The Bolshoi Theatre is almost done. Exciting news. So we want to extract all of these because these are going to be seaside resorts. These two tiles are... I've dealt with traders and deserters alike that were still more honorable than you. 
It's a very angry face you made at me, sir. I do not appreciate your angry face. I do not appreciate your non-angry face either. Bolshoi Ballet is a universe of the imagination, a place of magic and enchantment, beauty and romance. Its many worlds vibrate with graceful dancers, glorious music, and sumptuous costumes. Right, excellent. So we got two randomly free, three randomly chosen civics. So we got Scorched Earth and Capitalism. Ooh. Those are two decent ones, mainly because they give me envoys. Let's choose our production in here. The Cristo Redentor. Now, I was thinking of putting it over here, and I think this is a reasonable spot to put it. Here's a good spot, too. I'll put it right there. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to get all of the wonders. Uh, builder has been completed here. Let's have a look. What are you working? You definitely could do with maybe uh, a farm triangle here. Which is something we had planned, but never got around to. Okay, you're going to spam builders for me, because I'm just going to need builders for basically the rest of the game. I may get you to make another district. I will consider this as a possibility. Uh, in the meantime, are there any Suzman bonuses that I particularly want? Mm, not really. I mean, maybe I could take Carthage to get the plus one trade route out of it. Uh, I could go up to six with... Kabul, just for funsies, and then I'll hold on to the rest of them, I guess. So let me have a look at the appeal map mode. This is appeal... Charming. I would need to finish this and maybe put a forest here, so I may as well do the old uh, Harvest, and then that'll bring it up to 11 pop. And then we'll do a harvest as well here. The city is like super overpopped. But we'll we'll fix that later. Let's go ahead and drop a forest here. That'll bring this up to 20 tourism. Excellent. And we'll go ahead and create another great work of music. And then we'll go in here and we'll move the music over to here. Now I could if I get my hands on another um oh there's already music in it. Never mind. If I got my hands on another slot here for the bank. I could fit another piece of music in here and then in here and then I would just need like a place to store a piece of writing like in an amphitheater. So you are going to siphon funds because that is the training mission plus money is quite useful for me regardless of the age of the game. I'm half tempted to settle these cities but I mean I really don't need them. I would be, be kind of just purely settling for the sake of settling at this point. Um, I think we're well on our way to the win. So we just stole the tech boost for rocketry. We also have uh, finished the industrial zone in here. I think I would like another archaeological museum. So I'm going to hard build that here in Seville. And then we will go ahead and chop there and bring that city up to a higher population. And similarly, I want a little bit more tourism. So I'm going to make a little bit of an efficiency move here. And then we'll drop a farm here. Skidoosh is a nice little farm triangle. Excellent. That'll help the city grow a bit. Steal a tech boost, please. Uh, out of curiosity, what would happen if I deworked these mines? Okay, Ugh. a little bit of a loss control. If I deworked these mines and force work the farms, I could grow the city fairly rapidly. I think I'm going to focus on growing the city for a while. Let's have a look. You should be focused on production because you've already uh, you've already grown as much as you can. So I'll put you on production focus. I think definitely one of the areas of play that I could improve upon is sometimes I just like leave cities and don't like I don't micromanage my cities enough. Basically, uh, that's an area I could definitely get more value in my games out of. For example, I could probably get away with putting Cordoba on production focus here. It probably won't make a huge difference. But let's say I clicked on Cordoba, and that would make a difference of how many turns on this? 45 turns to 42 turns. Like, that's a, that's a reasonable amount of time saved for going on to production focus. 
Uh, let's have a look. Claim great person. We got another artist that will hopefully be filling up this art museum in a couple of turns. Excellent. We got a granary in here. Let's grab the lighthouse. I would also like to place down another district right there. I'll drop an entertainment complex. I won't quite finish it yet. And I need another one, I guess, which will be the theater square. Over here. Just to lock those prices in. And then why don't you go ahead and work on the lighthouse. So this city is super overpopulated. I can't buy any coastal tiles though. We'll let it do its own thing. And we'll drop a forest here. And that'll bring this up to a slightly higher tourism level. Excellent. 22 tourism per turn. Very, very, very nice. I'm excited about these things. Now... La Palmas. You've got three build charges left. And Zaragoza... Is hurting for a working. What I could do is chop chop. This forest belongs to Zaragoza. Yeah, and I will chop chop. And chop chop out the harbor, which will give me another trade route, which I can use in the city to help feed it and stuff like that. Which I think is a pretty reasonable move. We've got a lot of wonders coming in right now. I'm excited. Can't wait to get them. So we do the double chop chop and then we grab the lighthouse and then the lighthouse should make these two food, two production, one gold, which will work really, really well for me. At least that's, that's the dream. Your embassy is a welcome addition to our capital. Let's make sure we still have open borders, but everyone, we're missing open borders with Jadwiga and with um, Alexander. Alexander is denouncing me, so I don't think I can get open borders with him, but Jadwiga... We can definitely talk about open borders. Give me the money. Thank you. There we go. Open borders with Jadwiga to keep our tourism popping off. We're up to 85 out of 216. I will need to get my science up. That's partially why I'm doing the um, science thing. So I'm trying to get through these texts a little bit quicker. So I need to get to the Eiffel uh, Steel and then into radio. And stuff like that. Okay, we finished a commercial hub in here. I would love a market. I think it's about time we got a harbor, though, as well. Um, a theater square would be amazing and appropriate, so we will build that. But we will grab the market first. Again, because I want some of these points. Uh, this particular one does not appeal to me. This great engineer, I could take or leave this great engineer. It doesn't bother me. I feel like we skipped a few eras here with these great engineers. Maybe I'm crazy. Alfred Nobel would be good. Let's have a look. Workshops. We just finished the art museum, so we can start popping off the artists here. Excellent. We got a portrait. And we finished the industrial zone, which has a really high adjacency. Now we could also use the uh, harbor for growth. I could. I think I'm going to grab the workshop here because I want the extra great engineer points. Um, to kind of put me up on a higher plane of um, great engineer points than other people. I'm going to send this trade route to Zaragoza, actually. And then I'm going to put a mine here. And then that'll hopefully give this city a, uh, a nice tile to work. Which will shave a couple of turns off of that lighthouse. Which will shave a couple of turns off of everything else. I've got... I, I forgot that I got Monse. I've got so many wonders this game. It's actually really fun to play on Emperor in my opinion. If you're going for wonders. Uh, let's trade with Akaruna. Ay, Karuna. And let us continue to create great works. Very, very good. 
and you will trade with Akaruna as well. And that'll hopefully get you growing and producing that little bit quicker. Next turn. Ah, somebody built the Big Ben. Two turns until we can start the Sydney Opera House up here in, um, well, I guess it's six turns because we actually have to finish the harbor first. Uh, I can't promise that, I'm sorry. I have to use my spy operations on you. I know we're allies, but still, look, I'm, I'm not hurting you by stealing from you. But I'm going to call this an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.